So I hear all this crap going on in the gaming community, people talking about Spider-Man PS4, a heavily anticipated game coming out, obviously is getting flack for all the wrong reasons. Spider-Man PS4 is being lambasted because people think that Spider-Man PS4 is only being hyped up due to the fact that it is exclusive on PS4. Now, this is just willful ignorance to me. A lot of people really don't understand developer honesty, and that's when a developer flat out tells you what you're getting. You know, there's no cut corners, there's no cut cards, there's nothing dishonest about what they're saying. They told people straight up, you might be an Xbox fan, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for doing this, but we have a deal with Sony. We're not compromising. This game is exclusive on PS4. It sucks, but it is a business decision. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, well, you know, PS4 exclusives, people get overhyped. Who was really overhyped for the order 1886? I mean, it has a fan base, but that game did not pan out as well as Sony thought it was going to be. And I think in the future, there will be more exclusives with Sony's brand on it that will probably fail. Not everything is a hit. Not everything will automatically appeal. I mean, when I first played Neo, I didn't like the alpha. Team Ninja saw the feedback, they worked on the game, and they decided to fix it, and then that game became better. You see what I'm saying? Not everything with the PlayStation name on it is going to be always a hit. This is what I predict. Sony will have some bumps in the road along the way, and that's totally understandable. Whether it's sales, whether it's critical reception, not all games work out to their benefit. There are some failures, man. There are some bumps in the road. Look in the past. I mean, when they made like Unit 13, when they closed Zipper Interactive, when SOCOM 4 didn't quite pan out with all the issues involved. Guess what happened? Zipper got closed down. They got shuttered. It's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate, but sometimes people cut the fat. They cut their studios. That's my phone, by the way, ignore that. I have to put this on like fucking do not disturb because every time this happens, I'm sorry, people, but you get my point. Every time there's always some console war propaganda on the latest game coming out. And it's sad. It's sad because people can't sit there and enjoy their games. What if I am a Spider-Man fan and I really fucking enjoy Spider-Man? That's that's not to say that I'm not a Spider-Man fan. I'm using that as a hypothetical, but let's say I enjoy the series a lot, and I really do. Let's say if people really enjoy the Spider-Man movies. Let's say if people really enjoy the Spider-Man cartoons. Let's say if people have been watching Spider-Man for like fucking 10 to 20 years. They really love this character. It's their favorite character. And they just want to see a good Spider-Man game come into fruition. What's wrong with that? Me personally, let's, let's use myself. I've been waiting for a good Spider-Man game again since The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And that game came out sometime near 2012. I believe I got it in 2013. But I wasn't really too pleased with that game. I think they could have done better. I really do. They could have done a better job at making that game. And I wanted something that mirrors the same quality as Spider-Man 2 on PS2. That game was phenomenal. First, really open world Spider-Man title to go into death with Spider-Man. You can go everywhere. You can save people. There's random crimes. There's random shit going on. Ultimate Spider-Man, I'm playing that. I really am not familiar with it, but I still think it's a very enjoyable game. They added a layer to that game that I really loved. You could play with Venom. You can literally like eat people. In the tutorial, like, the first thing you do is you eat, like, a child 
trying to give you a balloon which is referencing and making fun of spider-man for ps2 where you have to save like children's balloons and shit and people thought that was ridiculous and redundant again people are propagating the whole console war nonsense people need to cut it out we like games for different reasons if you really like a game most of these xbox dudes they have ps4s if you can go out and buy like four or five or six xbox one x's just because you have disposable income and i know some people they do have disposable income you can go out and buy the game you could buy a cheap ps4 and buy like a 60 dollars game i don't see the issue you know and that game is going nowhere it's going nowhere once you know people can say oh i'm broke i don't have the money now it's going nowhere you can buy it like later on it's not your priority in life to wait for a fucking video game to drop i mean go out and live live man that video game will always be there when you get back i've seen people have like big buyer's regret and i had this too where a fucking video game comes out and then it's a lower price elsewhere follow that guy like on twitter wario64 he's always putting up deals i always get pissed when i see a game on sale a new game for 50 bucks when i could have saved like 10 dollars or 15 dollars or maybe even more just wait sometimes it's okay to just wait it might suck that the game is exclusive but then you can wait for it you should be owning more than one platform in the first place because a lot of people they make the mistake of going into a console generation with one platform and then they don't have all the other games to play that might be exclusive that's why I own like multiple platforms. That's why you plan ahead. That's why you work. That's why you go out and spend your hard earned money on the things you enjoy. Gaming is an expensive hobby anyway. So in order to really reap the benefits, you need multiple platforms. Don't put yourself in one box and get one platform because you're going to miss out. And people can say, well, I only have one console. If you're really struggling, if you're really broke, video games should be the last priority on your mind. That's what I think. You should be focusing on getting your life together. You know? Again, I'm a big Spider-Man fan. I love Spider-Man. I've been reading Spider-Man since the Amazing Spider-Man comics. I really started getting into them with the Ultimate comics. I started getting like Ultimate X-Men, Ultimate Spider-Man, reading from there. Some of the same beats with, you know, Spider-Man's origin, but it was treated differently, treated for a new generation in the 2000s. And that's when I really, really started reading more of the comics. That's why I'm buying this game. I'm not buying it because it's a PS4 exclusive. I'm buying it because I am a fan of the character. I grew up with the character and nothing stopping me from playing it. And I wanted to play a good Spider-Man game for years since b Knox folded and they became a subsidiary of Activision working on like Call of Duty. So those guys are like dead in the ground. This is probably the only hope we're getting for a great Spider-Man title, and I hope it's really good. Like I said yesterday, Insomniac, I'm not too familiar with all of their games, but I played them, and they're pretty fun. Their main emphasis is on gadgets and shit like that, so obviously that's going to be done well, and it should have like a good upgrading system. That's what I'm expecting. The bare minimum, they should have a good upgrading system and good gadgets. You know, and if this game is bad, then, you know, it's not a hit. It proves my point. Not every game is going to be a success. Sometimes you have to accept it again. I'm going to be buying it. I will be streaming it. I think people in the community really need to learn how to reserve their judgment better and wait till the fucking game comes out and play it instead of arguing about it because that's a waste of time. But I know the console war enthusiasts, they're going to do it anyway. I guess 
you can continue living out your sad existence while I play some motherfucking video games. This is Renegade Operative signing out. I wanted to make this real talk, rant, whatever, because I heard this shit going on and I thought it's very funny because I totally didn't care when Spider-Man PS2 was like, I'm talking about like, you know, the first one, the second one, I didn't care. It was a multiplat. I just wanted to play those games. That's all I fucking cared about. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you enjoyed the rant later.